welcome to our channel in the previous lecture i explained when the practical transformer is operating under load conditions now moving to the next concept equivalent circuit of circuit resistance of a single phase transformer equivalent circuit resistance of a single phase transformer what is our first assumption the first assumption is permeability of transformer core is infinity so we are already considered with a finite permeability and the second one is core losses is not equal to zero coming to the practical one and third we are considering the resistance the resistance of the winding is also not equal to zero but in an ideal case we are assuming that core loss is zero and the resistance of the winding is zero but if the transformer winding has resistances how many windings the transformer has how many windings there are two windings one is a primary winding and another one is secondary winding or see here it is hv winding and lv winding so the supply which is given to the winding is called the primary winding so here we are considering the resistance the primary winding resistance is r1 the secondary winding resistance is r2 and here i am connecting a load the primary winding draws a current of i1 the emf which is induced in a windings is e1 and e2 e1 is the primary induced emf e2 is the secondary induced emf the current flowing through secondary winding is i2 and the load is also i2 and the terminal voltage is v so again the same story if the current flows through windings which will produce as an alternating flux in the core so the transformer symbolic representation is like this so the primary winding resistance is r1 and these two are uh, lines are represent z it is a iron core transformer so these two lines are represents it is a iron core transformer so the current flows through primary is i1 the current flows through secondary is i2 primary induced emf is e1 secondary induced emf is e2 and v2 is the terminal voltage and these two lines are represent as yes, iron core transformer so if the lines are not there if the lines are not there then this type of transformer is called air core transformer air core transformer copper loss in the primary winding the primary winding current is i1 generally the copper loss formula is i square r so i1 square into r1 the copper loss in the secondary winding is i2 square into r2 now the total copper loss is equal to i1 square r1 plus i2 square into r2 if the secondary winding resistance is shifted to primary side what is the condition for shifting of resistance copper loss before transfer of resistance 
copper loss before transfer of resistance should be equal to copper loss after transfer of resistor resistance see the secondary winding resistance is shifted to primary side now that will becomes r2 dash this is r1 now this is the primary winding the secondary winding is directly connected to load the current flow is through load is load current that is the secondary current is i2 and this one is i1 primary current so before transfer of resistance means what is the current flows through r2 is i2 then i2 square r2 is equal to after shifting the current which is flowing is i1 square into r2 dash finally i can get this r2 dash is equal to i2 by i1 whole square into r2 so r2 divided by k square now you got it out i2 by i1 is k r not 1 by k r not so we have a one relationship e2 by e1 is equal to n2 by n1 is equal to i2 dash by i2 what is the primary current i1 is a phase r sum of i not bar plus i2 dash bar but by neglecting the no load current we can write it as we can write it as i1 divided by i2 that should be equal to k so that's why i am writing as k is equal to i1 by i2 but here i2 by i1 can be written as 1 by k now what is the total resistance when referred to primary r01 is equal to r1 plus r2 dash r1 plus r2 by k square this is called total resistance when referred to primary and r not 2 is equal to similarly this is called the total resistance when referred to secondary so we should find out now so the primary winding resistance is shifted to secondary side that will becomes r1 dash the secondary winding resistance is r2 is our load and the current which is flowing through this is i2 and here it is i1 before shifting the current flowing through this one is i1 i1 square into r1 dash is equal to i2 square into r2 the r1 dash is equal to i2 so i1 square into r1 sorry i1 square into r1 we want to shift the primary winding resistance to secondary side i1 square r1 to i2 square into r1 dash i2 square into r1 dash then r1 dash is equal to i1 by i2 whole square into r1 that is k square times of r1 so this is called the r not 2 r subscript 0 2 that is total resistance when referred to secondary when referred to secondary is equal to r2 plus r1 dash r2 plus k square times of r1 see if you apply k will to this loop see this is these are the polarities if you apply k will to this loop minus v neglect in the lens la plus i1 r1 plus e1 is equal to 0 i am following the notation when the current enters into the positive terminal can be treated as positive 
so current enters into a positive terminal can be treated as positive means i1 r1 plus i1 r1 plus c1 minus v equal to 0 and i1 r1 is equal to v minus e1 i1 is equal to v minus e1 divided by r1 so most of the students they have a doubt that in the previous lecture how i1 is equal to v minus e1 divided by r1 i think your doubt is clarified now and this is the total resistance when referred to primary r01 is equal to r01 is equal to r1 plus r2 dash r1 plus r2 by k square and total resistance when referred to secondary is r2 plus r1 dash that should be equal to r2 plus k square r1 like share and subscribe my channel thank you Thank you.